Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, Energy here. Um, so if you guys are having the same issue that I've been having with 5M, uh, where when you get 5M you go to download it, um, and it starts downloading like this, and like it'll like freeze eventually, uh, and it'll get it like 0 MBS, uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that today. Uh, currently this one's working. I have a download that also sometimes works. It's super buggy, but um, first off you're going to need all these downloads. Uh, so you're going to need uh, Proton VPN. If you have your own VPN, that's cool. This one's just a free alternative. This gives you three different servers to connect to. Uh, so this is free. If you do not want to pay for one, uh, you can use this. 5M EXE, this is going to be in the description below or in the announcement. Uh, it'll be in there. So download this EXE. Uh, you could probably use the one from the 5M website, but this one just works best for me. Um, here it, you're going to need 5m.app.roar, uh, uh, we'll, I'll show you how to use this, and you'll need this game storage, uh, which is about 3 gigabytes, but uh, this essentially will make it so you can uh, play 5m again. So, uh, first off, you got this downloaded, and you have it all set up, you can go ahead and open it, um, and then what you're going to want to do, don't quick connect. Uh, connect to the Netherlands. Uh, that's the one that's worked the best so far. Uh, the reason this happens is because um, uh, basically they're getting DDoSed and like these servers and whatnot. So now you're connected to different servers that'll allow you to download it better. Um, and now you're going to open the 5M EXE that we've got in the description. It'll verify content and then uh, it'll go ahead and start updating. Uh, if you have an issue where it goes back to 0.0, .0 MBS, uh, just close the install, restart it, and it should work. Uh, you might have to do that a couple times, but I've been having moderate success thus far. Um, now this will ask you to verify your GTA. Uh, it'll be wherever you have your GTA install at. Uh, you'll press GTA 5.exe, open, and you'll keep going. You'll get this message here, uh, more than likely. Um, this is where people start to have a lot of problems. Um, so we're going to do, obviously, you're just going to press yes. And sometimes, like, this will work, right? Um, and sometimes it'll just go to zero and stop. Uh, other times, sometimes it'll go up to, like, a 1,000 and be done, and then it'll stop. Um, same as before, if for whatever reason it, go it stops and it go like, goes flatline 0.0, .0 uh, just close it, reopen the 5m.exe, and uh, it should hopefully work. Um, this is just this is where most people are having problems at. Um, so... It'll speed up here. I've noticed that like once it gets here, like around this area, this is typically where it stops. But when you reopen it again, you only have to download like 300 megabytes. Uh, it, it saves and remembers where you're at. So um, this is typically where it goes wrong. But um, so yeah, so other files, uh, you're gonna need these two files that you should already have downloaded. Um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these two files to replace them um, in the uh, 5M when it downloads. Um, it w which is super easy and then once you're done with that it'll uh, should be able to play 5M <laughs> alright so now that we're here we're starting up 5M it's, it should automatically start when that's done downloading um, and uh, 5M should immediately open. It's analyzing game, all that fun stuff. So you might think you're out of the, the zone now, and in all reality, you might be. Uh, for some people, it works from this point. For me, I continued to have problems uh, even after it installed because it can, kept wanting to update my game files. Um, so what I'm going to show you to do next is how to update those files. So for example, if I go to connect like to Nexus right now, uh, you could go ahead and you search it, whatnot. Um, it'll seem like I can connect, and it'll go ahead and load everything like I can, and I'll just press OK, you know, just like normal, and I'll press Yes. And what this will do is this will update, uh, but as you will see here, uh, at literally like 15%, um, it'll go to 0.0, .0 and it'll just completely stop for me. Um, so in order to fix this uh, problem, uh, I mean, you could sit here and wait for like a day and wait for this to download, uh, but I found an alternative fix. Uh, so if you go ahead and close your 5M, you're going to take these two files. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with this one, uh, 5M app.rar. Um, so I'll take these to my desktop real fast. Um, so what you're going to do is 
you're going to press your file explorer um, go to this PC wherever you installed your 5m at for example mine is under local uh, users Mason um, and then it's under app data if you can't see this app data folder go to view and then uh, show hidden extensions show hidden items and that will uh, like if you don't have it on it will be hidden but if you press hidden items you'll be able to see your app data so to go to app data uh, I think it's roaming nope. local yep you'll go to local uh, 5m uh, application data and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of this here uh, so for example I'm just gonna press control a right click delete gonna open this one and I'm gonna select all of this uh, stuff and I'm gonna drag it into here and what this is doing is this is uh, for one it will put your 5m into the latest version of 5m which is the least secure version um, but it'll just kind of have to work for the time being uh, you will notice that you will not have a data folder um, this folder is created the first time you open the game so what you're gonna go ahead and do is go 5m open it um, and it will automatically create that data folder and it's gonna go ahead and download content uh, which is okay so you're gonna allow that to download yet again um, so this is this is going to go ahead and download everything uh, this will only take another minute and then once that's downloaded uh, we'll open it just make sure it opens correctly and whatnot we'll close it and we're going to take this uh, game storage uh, and whatnot and replace it in that data data folder <coughs> and replace it in that data folder um, so this is going to download this might take another minute again same as before if you continue to have a problem with uh, getting this open um, or downloading like right here it goes to 0, .0. Uh, just go ahead um, close it and reopen 5m um, and when you do that it should ideally uh, remember the data that it needs to to continue to download so now that you're here the 5m is starting to open and whatnot all that fun stuff uh, this will go ahead and open you'll know you'll notice it's a different layout I believe um, which is not the big a big deal it doesn't it's not really matter uh, you might run like a few FPS lower um, but at least you're able to play um, so now that you get in here uh, we're just gonna make sure this opens correctly um, now it does new layout same sort of concept just different buttons uh, we're gonna go ahead and close this again um, we're gonna go to the same folder we're gonna go to data game storage we're gonna delete everything in there open this game storage one um, and you're just going to take all this info information here and you're going to paste it into this game storage folder um, and yeah so from this point forward you'll be able to play 5m if you have any other questions or anything be sure to comment on this video or if you uh, message me directly on discord uh, my name is uh, energy uh, with the number sign 5558 I do believe um, if not it will be in the description and from this point forward uh, now we're going to go ahead and open 5m yet again um, you should be able to play 5M and not have any problems um, with any loading or downloading or 0.0ms. Uh, .0 MS. From this point, you are able to disconnect from the VPN. Uh, some servers will ban you automatically from being on that VPN. Um, you're able to close that down. Um, and now I'll show you the same server I was unable to connect to before. I'm able to connect to now. Um, it's going to say need to restart. And it, now it will automatically restart the game like it's initially supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, so, again, you have any questions, comment them, message me directly. Uh, I'm happy to help. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, uh, please like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys.